here at the Willie G. Davidson Design Studio, we have a diverse group of industrial designers and graphic designers. They were given the challenge to come up with what if. Three concept bikes give you a glimpse into two industrial designers at the Harley Davidson Design Studio. You're looking at the three bikes that these passionate industrial designers from Harley Davidson did Dyson Agao and Chichen Shadali. Street 750 and Street 500 give them a starting place for personalization. From there, there's an opportunity to add PA, extra paint. Our designers said, let's take it one notch further and show them the possibilities from the Harley Davidson Design Studio. This project is called Garage, and we literally built this bike with the spirit of garage, meaning using our hands. Uh, between Al and myself, worked everything here. Uh, what you see is uh, what's done in house. Normally, I build our non running concept vehicles for the styling department, and Dice and I were given free reign to actually build a motorcycle that we could crank up, crack the throttle, put it in gear, and take for a ride. This is built to be ridden hard. So, starting with the street, the frame, the nice V twin motor. Excellent bike to start filling up, nice little chopper out of it. Minimalism is something that Al spent a lot of time, spent a lot of time to make it last. Took me back to the way I was raised on building motorcycles. So it's, it was a neat combination, Dice and I, because he, he kind of introduced me to the new Brad style, and it's still got a, still got a touch of the um, old bobber chopper type look. The, the usage of carbon fiber uh, billet parts is something unique to this particular build. Uh, we're still playing within the, the template of traditional uh, uh, stance, but uh, the introducing those uh, exotic parts, I think that's something unique to this particular build and this genre. The inspiration of the bike was more from like Formula One, Moto, MotoGP or super bikes more racing oriented. Hi, I'm Scott Moss and I'm the bike builder. Well, the way these bikes come to us is usually through a sketch. Now, when Chayton had given me the initial sketch, it's my job to try and make sure that the bikes look as close to his representation as he had designed raised white letters on the tires as a throwback to the very classic 60s and 70s muscle car tires. Uh, when we had the uh, carbon laid up, we have all of the structure of the carbon fiber is laid at 45 degree angles to try and match as, soon, as much as we can from tail to front of the bike. We don't get to do builds like this every day, so I, I'm very fortunate to, and I think I have the best job in the world to be able to do this kind of work with such a great team that we have here at Harley's. Well, the, the team goal on this bike was really to inspire uh, the possibility of customization on the street platform. It was our goal when we set out to see how far we could take it. Yes, let's make a bike look so cool that people will say, wow. Now this tank is stock tank, nothing's been changed on it, none of the, the mounts haven't been moved. It is stock street position of the tank. Uh, what would make me happy is to see people try to replicate this bike as much as they can. It would be uh, uh, very neat to see it on people's walls or on a screensaver somewhere. It's, uh, I think it's gorgeous, so I'm going to have one as my screensaver. <laughs> so now you've seen it, street concept bikes from the Willie G. Davison Design Center. Now it's in your hands. Here's the black canvas. Personalize and customize. Have fun. Enjoy the ride.